strong as well as mobile in all ranges of motion. Try some great Pilates exercises to work on your mobility of your shoulders, your hips, as well as your torso. So let's go ahead and learn those movements. You'll start with the incline at a low to medium level and come into a quadruped position. Round your back into cat and then arch it into cow. Extend one arm and the opposite leg. Tuck the elbow into the knee and then extend it out long. And then place it down. Round your back into cat again. Arch your back into cow. Extend the opposite arm and leg. And tuck the elbow to the knee. Extend it out long. And then repeat. Utilize your breath by inhaling and exhaling through each position of the motion. This facilitates movement of the spine. It lengthens your arms and legs. And it really activates your core to prepare you for the workout ahead. Sit facing away from the tower for twist and saw. You'll rotate to the side and pulse for three times. Articulate through your spine and round down as if you're chopping off the baby toe. Articulate back up to sitting and go to the other side. Pulse for three. And then you'll round your spine down. Articulate it back up to seated and come back to the center. Each time you pulse, try to get a little taller. Scoop out through the middle and articulate down. Roll back up and then go back through the middle. Reach the arms as long as they can. Exhale as you round out. Articulate back up and come back to center. For the mobility moves, connect your cable, hold onto it and face the tower as you articulate the spine down and use the cables to ride your body back up. You're using each part of your spine individually with an exhale and then rolling back up to a long spine. Let the cables assist you with the motion. Next, you'll keep the same position and elongate the legs for rolling back and stretch. You'll articulate back, come up and over, sweep the arms back and around and then come up to a long seated position. Throw the arms into the chest, curl through the back, dive over the legs, sweep the arms back, and circle them out and around, articulate to seated. Come into a kneeling stance with one cable into your hand to make a large single arm circle. You'll take the arms straight up, back, and around, rotating through the torso, using your shoulders to work on your mobility. Then you'll reverse the direction. Keep your arm as long as possible. Exhale as you rotate through the motion, Keep your spine as long as possible and keep your core engaged. And then you'll change sides. Keep one cable in your hand and come into a Z sit for side bends. You'll press one arm up and overhead as you side bend through the waistline. Keep your sit bones pressed into the glide board as you feel the stretch in your shoulder and your torso. Extend one arm to make it more of a core challenge to reach up and over, side bending through the body. And then you'll change sides. And the last exercise are hip circles. Disconnect your cable and come to the edge of your glide board, placing your feet at the bottom base. Lift your hips up as you bend the knees and ride the glide board in. Let the hips dip down through the rails. Externally rotate the knees, lift the hips, and ride the glide board back. So again, you're externally rotating the legs, pressing the hips up, and making a circle of the hips. And then you'll reverse it. So you bring the knees in with the legs together, open the knees, and then drop the hips as they circle up, back, and around. We're facilitating the mobility of our hips and our torso and activating our glutes, hips, and thighs. Try to incorporate these Pilates mobility exercises to keep your spine strong, healthy, and ready for anything that you do.